where there is light, there is no room for darkness. Hello everybody, this is Ayana Nedman, crochet tutor and fiber artist, speaking to you all from Ganga Akramo's channel. They say, a city on mountain top can never be hidden. Just like that, when a person is filled with light, darkness can never overcome. Today, in this beautiful Diwali season, I have bought you a Diwali beautiful home decor item. Before knowing what it is, if you are watching this video for the first time, please do consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified with our every new video. Also, when you are making amazing stuff with these yarns and patterns, please do post this on social media with the hashtag YTGanga and we would love to see your creations. Today in our video, we are going to see how we can make this beautiful Dia Lab home decor for this Diwali season with a very gorgeous yarn from Ganga Acrobos called the Olivia, one of the best sellers as we are 100% acrylic and premium range of yarns. Without much talking, let's quickly get into making. Let's see the materials required to make this beautiful Dia Lab. First, we need a crochet hook. I have taken a 3.25 mm crochet hook a pair of scissors, tapestry needle, stitch marker and the vibrant beautiful shades from Olivia we have it here so I have picked this beautiful uh, green shade and it is in the number OLV016 so let's start doing this beautiful Dia lamp like I said you I'm going to keep this project very simple so without starting with a magic ring, we are going to start with a slip knot so that it is beginner friendly. Let's make three chains, one, two, three. Now after making three chains, we are going to skip the first two chains and then we are going to make eight half double crochets in the first chain that we have made. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first chain, pull the working yarn out. You will have three loops on your hook rotate grab pull through all the three loops at a time so that is our first half double crochet you can even mark it with your stitch marker to identify so similar to this we are going to make seven more half double crochets i'm making my last half double crochet the eighth half double crochet now you can pull this tail yarn and you can see the hole has been closed a bit. Now let's make a slip stitch in the place where we have kept the stitch marker. So in the same place where we have kept the stitch marker, we are going to make a slip stitch. Now let's start with round 2. Round 2 is increase in all. Before that, let's make 2 turning chain 1, 2. And here in round 2, we are going to make increase half double crochet in all the stitches that we made. So totally we will get 16 half double crochets by end of this round so this is my first half double crochet and immediately let me place it with a stitch marker so that we can identify easily after i have done with my first half double crochet in the same place i'm making another half double crochet so that is called as an increase half double crochet so we are going to make a total count of 16 half double crochets as we are going to make two two in each stitch once you complete 16 half double crochet i will let you know what to do next i have almost reached the end of round two i'm making my last 16 half double crochet in the same place where i did my 15 half double crochet now we are going to directly slip stitch into the first stitch of round two It's time to start round 3. Let's make 2 turning chains. It doesn't count. Now in this round, it is going to be a half double crochet followed by an increase half double crochet. Again a half double crochet followed by an increase half double crochet. So the total count in this round will be 24 stitches. So as soon as you make your first half double crochet, make sure you mark it with your stitch marker. And then I'm going to make an increase half double crochet over here. Next will be a normal half double crochet. Again, it's going to be an increase and repeat doing the same until you get 24 half double crochets in round 3. 
I have completed round 3. I have got 24 stitches. I have made a slip stitch in the place where we have kept the stitch marker. Now let's move on to round 4. Let's make two turning chains. So the total count will be 32 half double crochets. But the only thing is don't forget to work on the back loops. That is my first half double crochet and I am immediately going to place it with a stitch marker. Again you can see I am working only on the back loops. I have made two normal half double crochet. The next one is going to be an increased half double crochet. So in the same place I will make two half double crochet. So normal, normal, increase. Again it's going to be a normal half double crochet. By end of this row you should have 32 half double crochet stitches. I have got 32 half double crochets in round 4. Now for making round 5, making 2 turning chains and we are going to make just one count on all the stitches. So in round 5 it is again going to be 32 half double crochets and now you can work normally on both loops. So just keep working one half double crochet on top of every stitch. I will keep my stitch marker on the first half double crochet. And this is normally just like how you work with both loops. Let's talk about the beautiful Olivia yarns from Ganga Acro Wools. These are premium acrylic yarns. Each yarn ball is 100 grams with a yard age of 266 meters. You can crochet and knit with these beautiful yarns. There are huge variety of shades available in this model for you to choose from. You can make beautiful garments, posters, accessories and whatnot. I leave the option to you all. These are Oikotex class 1 certified which means these are yarns are safe for skin and safe for babies as well. They fall into size 3 lightweight category yarns. I have made 32 half double crochets in round 5 and you can see slowly it is uh, starting to form shape. Let's make a slip stitch and end this row and I'll let you know how to start round 6. Let's start round 6. I have made 2 turning chains. I'm making my first half double crochet. So in this round it is going to be 3 normal half double crochet. Mark it with a stitch marker. Okay, so this is my first normal second normal and third normal half double crochet and then the fourth and fifth will be together will be an increase half double crochet in the same stitch so the fourth stitch and the fifth stitch will be together so it is three normal four and five together so by end of this round you will have a total of 40 half double crochet stitches and i will let you know what to do on the seventh round now we are on the last round, the seventh round. I have made two turning chains. We are going to make 18 half double crochets initially in this round. Let's start making 18 half double crochets. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. After making 18 normal half double crochets on the next stitch, we are going to make one double crochet. So yarn over, insert, pull your working yarn out, rotate grab pull first two loops and then rotate grab pull last two loops. We have made one double crochet over here and then on the next stitch we are going to make three stitches together. Okay so in this place let's make our first double crochet and then in the same place where we made our double crochet we are going to make one treble crochet. So for that yarn over twice, insert, pull the working yarn out, rotate grab pull first two loops, rotate grab pull next two loops and rotate grab pull last two loops. After you have made your treble crochet we are going to make a pico for that one, two, three, three chains and in the first chain we are going to make a slip stitch. The first chain that you made, let's make a slip stitch. 
now again going to make one more double crochet in the same place where we made the double and treble so in the same stitch let's make one more double crochet now on the next stitch we'll make a double crochet again now let's do entire round with half double crochet stitches i have made 19 half double crochets and i'm going to end row number 7 making a slip stitch and then you can cut it off you can see that the beautiful dia lamp shape has been created now to give it a proper stand we are going to create this extra embossed effect to create the embossed stand effect let's again make a slip knot remember we worked one round only on the back loops so we have the front loops over here we are going to start working on the front loops by inserting a crochet hook inside the front loop we are going to make slip stitch all around the all around the front loops let's make the first slip stitch i'll continue making slip stitches throughout this round you can see how this embossed effect is being created let's continue making this entire row and i will meet you by the end of this round i have completed this round i'm just going to make a after making a slip stitch i'm going to make a chain one and chop the yarn off now let's weave in all the extra tail ends and i will show you how the finished look i have weaved in all the ends and look at this my dear friends it looks lovely isn't it look at its structure it looks beautiful you can keep a uh, led battery tea lights inside or also you can take some scrap yarn and brush off its ends to create a flame like structure to give it a beautiful flame look i hope you guys enjoyed that was very easy and quick isn't it such a beginner friendly pattern as to deck up yourself this diwali season do deck up your home space with this beautiful via lamp home deco Let your light shine and let it shine bright this Diwali season. This is Irene Edmund signing off and wishing you all a happy and safe Diwali from Gangatro's channel.